is going down Pokemon Mosh Pit? This is King Quacks here bringing you guys today's Wi-Fi battle upload. Now today's battle, it is technically an Aria match since my opponent did bring an Aggron. Uh, that's all fine with me just because I never really clarified what kind of tier I wanted to play. But um, he brought Aggron and that's fine by me because it really doesn't throw at me any much. But um, anyways, uh, yeah, lower tier Aria match. I'll just call it an Aria just to be safe. But um... Yeah, so just a quick rundown of my team because I uh, just want to move around with the battle. I have just a pretty standard physical defensive Tangela. I got special defensive Stunfisk with Stealth Rocks, which it does get through uh, Black and White 2 move tutors. I have Heatmore, which is uh, it's actually a Salakberry Heatmore with Gluttony. So I'm still trying to decide whether or not I like it or not. I have Lapras on there. Its only new move from Black and White move tutors is Drill Run which I only really have on there just to kind of hit steel types a bit better. Sock, it's a standard Scarf set, with except it has Ice Punch. And then Behem, it's Choice Specs Analytic. And from Black White Move Tutors, I have Single Beam on there. Just to hit Dark Types better, or more reliably than, um, or just to, hit, just to hit Dark Types better than um Hidden Power Fighting. So, um... Yeah, looking at his team, nothing really is a huge, huge threat to me, because... I mean, whatever other things can hit too hard, Sock can. Like, uh, Absol, Sock, his Sock, as long as I have Bahium. Aggron, I, I have several things to Aggron, so that thing is, like, whatever. Um, Superior, whatever. Gardevoir, whatever. Floatzel can kind of be a problem, depending on if it's Life Orb or not. If it's Life Orb, then I'll have a bit more problems if it is in, if it's... And as opposed to it being choice banded, because looking at his team, I'm guessing that the only that sock is probably scarfed, or it could be banded if it leads, but whatever. So let's we'll move around the battle. So uh, lead off with my Tangler this battle because I didn't see any set designated leads for his team, and I figured that he was going to lead off with his sock because socks are pretty or pretty frequently used as leads. But he leads off with his Floatzel, and I'm not too scared, even if he does have Ice Punch, because I, I'm i pretty sure I could live it, because Eevee Light Tangla takes physical hits like like it's its job, which it is. But, um, miss the Sleep Powder, which is unfortunate against the Superior. Get a switch out of there, as he actually goes for Taunt, which kind of makes sense of Tangla, I guess, because he doesn't want anything else to sleep. But, um, yeah, gonna go for Fire Blast, because I see no reason not to. Especially, don't want to over predict that's really in the game. Predict, don't want to predict to go back and do his float still to take a Giga Drain or take a fire up, whatever. I killed the superior right off the bat with the fire blast, so got the game roll, got the ga got the ball rolling. That's what I'm trying to say. But um, don't want to take a waterfall from this float still, so gonna go into my Lapras here to take the waterfall with water absorb and and whatnot. But he goes for ice beam, which I'm. First of all, that's telling me he was predicting the Tangla switch in, but um, he's special. And then I see uh, he has Brick Break here, which is telling me that he's mixed, which is um cool story, bro. I'm <laughs> gonna go for Drill Run because I don't really know why I went for Drill went for Drill Run. I I honestly don't. But anyways, uh, figure he's just gonna go for a Brick Break because he really has no no reason not to go for Brick Break because Ice Beam does Jack Daily Squat to Lapras, Waterfall would just heal me. So, um, Brick Break, I switched to Stunfisk, hoping for the Static Hacks, because that would really help me cripple this Floatzel. But, unfortunately, I don't get the Static Hacks, so I'm going to switch right back into my uh, Lapras to maybe take a Waterfall to uh, get my HP back up. But, he goes into Aggron, so that's kind of a very bad matchup for me, because a Head Smash would kill me. Kill me a lot. So, uh, go into my Stunfisk here to take the Head Smash, as, as he actually reveals to me that he has Thunder Wave. So he has Thunder Wave, so that's telling me that maybe he's a uh, paraflinging set. So Thunder Wave, Iron Head, Head Smash, and then a fourth move to hit ground type moves, which as you see here is Aqua Tail. So um yeah, I and yeah blah 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 mumbles. But uh go for Skull, try to get the burn, but he gets the static instead, which is kind of whatever, because either way, burn would I kinda of would have rather preferred the burn because it just make just cr cripples his aggron but i get the static hacks instead which is whatever so set him my rocks as he also sets up his rocks so he goes for rocks which is kind of telling me that he maybe he doesn't have the iron head or maybe he has iron head over head smash but um 
Yeah, because I'm pretty sure he would have stab one way or another. And as you'll see, this next turn after I go for Scald, uh, go for Scald because I don't have Earth Power on this thing. I actually have Yawn over Earth Power. I have Scald, Discharge, Stealth Rock, and Yawn. But um, I'll probably switch Yawn to Earth Power because I never ever use Yawn in all the times I've used the Stunfisk. All two times I've used the Stunfisk. So, um, yeah, he's going to go for Head Smash. does absolutely nothing to me. And now I'm predicting him to go for the Aqua Tail to clean out my Stunfisk. So go into my Lapras to take the Aqua Tail. Get some HP back. But he gets paralyzed, which is kind of good, kind of bad. Kind of bad in the sense that if he did go for Aqua Tail, then I missed out on HP. Kind of bad because if he did, or kind of good because if he did go for Head Smash, then he got paralyzed and my Lapras is still alive, which did happen. So uh, go for Jorgon, and I just missed out on the kill. Missed out on that, that high crit ratio, and he's just going to finish me off with a Head Smash. So, um, whatever. Agron's pretty much at a point where I could easily easily revenge kill with whatever i decided to go into stun fisk when i could have just easily gone to sock kill that thing with a close combat but guard or no he goes with the guard divorce i just i was just really hellbent on getting a kill with stun fisk so i brought a stun fisk wanted to go for skull to try to kill the the uh, agron but that didn't happen so a uh, skull to get crit whatever so um, now I'm just going to go for a Discharge to try to paralyze the Gardevoir. I really don't care if he wants to go for a Psychic because I'm especially defensive. I know I could take a Psychic for a fact. And he goes for the Wish. So the fact that he went for Wish is kind of, is telling me that he is a supportive set. Which I'm actually not... I'm kind of confused at this set because he doesn't go for Heal Bell at all during this battle. When I'm pretty sure he should have gone for Heal Bell because um, this Gardevoir and Aggron are both paralyzed and such and such so um going to my heat more here thinking that he was gonna uh pass the wish off to his aggron and then i could scare the thing out with a focus blast but uh, but if i was predicting the aggron switch in then i don't know why i didn't go into sock but whatever gonna go for fire blast too just to hit the gardevoir pretty hard as he sets up another wish so now i'm pretty sure he's gonna pass the wish off and i'm pretty sure he's gonna pass it off to his float soul to uh get a bunch of that HP back because Floatzel's Life Orb, it kind of needs uh, Wish support. So we're gonna go for Giga Drain, predicting that switch in. He does go into Floatzel, nail that thing in the face with the Giga Drain. I get some HP back and Heatmore got a kill. Heatmore did stuff, which is which is good. Um, Heatmore did stuff. That's that's what I'm looking for when I'm trying out a new set. If the set does stuff, then I'll keep on trying. If it does Jack Ridley squat, then I'll stop using it. But um, at this point. Keeping keep more is kind of pointless because if I switch out and switch back in first of all I'll be at like almost no HP and I won't have the speed boost from the salak berry So leave him more in to die see what he wants to lock his sock onto he Locks himself onto close combat. So I go into my behem and I'm figuring all right What does he have on his team to take a psychic? Guard of war and this absol so signal beam is kind of the better move to go for i know he won't want to go into uh, his aggron to take a psychic because it will just die to a second psychic because it's paralyzed like i'll speed the next turn so um yeah i'm looking at damage he, I, I'm, in fact i'm pretty sure that would, just one psychic would kill that aggron from that point but whatever um i'm unsure that a signal beam will kill the bait or the aggron so I'll go into my my uh, flop jack here my stun fist kind of just has death fodder but uh, at the same time, like I did say earlier, I'm really hellbent on ki on KOing this aggron with with um with stun fist so I can get a kill, which I do actually get right here. Scald kills the aggron, stun fist gets a kill. Mission accomplished. Personal mission accomplished. Achievement unlocks. The <laughs> stun fist gets a kill, which is really all I'm looking for. So uh, yeah, I feel accomplished for using the stun fist. Stun fist is now one of my new favorite Pokemon in NU. So um. In comes a Sock, and at this point, he's in a very, very sticky situation because he, like, Sock, he can't lock his Sock onto any move that can hit every single Pokemon on his team. If he goes for Stone Edge, I have the Stun Fisk and my own Sock to resist the yeah, Stone Edge. Close Combat, I could just bring in my Behem, resist the Close Combat, KO with a Psychic. If he wants to go for Earthquake, I have Tangela, and whatever move his last move is, the just because usually we saw last moves are um kind of just fillers but um yeah he decides to lock himself onto stone edge which is whatever i guess he just figured that stone edge can hit uh stuff on my team the most but whatever 
Uh, all I know is that Stompfist gets another kill. That's all I was really looking for. So, uh, Sock is dead. His last Pokemon is Gardevoir. So at this point, it's pretty much game because I do still have my Behem. And unless he wants to just randomly stall for absolutely no reason whatsoever, then um, the game's pretty much mine because uh, all he can really do is wish stall, like I did say, which there really is no point in him doing that. So, um, yeah, at this point, it's game because I do still have Behem. I said it's pretty much game like four times now. But, um,. Yeah, I can just bring in Bayhem after my Stunfisk dies here, and then I can just go for the Signal Beam, KO the Gardevoir, and claim the game as my own with a 3-0 victory. So, that right there is pretty much the game, and if you did enjoy this battle, then feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to show that like, that like button some love, and if you did enjoy this battle and you want to see more content from me, then feel free to mosey on over to my channel. Channel link is in the description down below. So, um, yeah, anyways don't know what else to say to close the video off so um that's, so i'll just close the video off saying that stunfisk is absolutely amazing stunfisk was definitely the mvp of this match so um anyway anyways with that stuff being said thanks for watching and peace and peace